This year's Joburg Arts Alive International Festival includes the return of classical ballet to the bill with Ballatomia, a celebration of the South African Ballet Theatre's 10th anniversary. The company came about in 2001. In the year 2000, the state withdrew funds for the state theatre's performing arts companies. They had permanent ballet, opera, drama companies, and those were closed down in 2000. The prospect of South Africa losing ballet as such a, a key part of the country's arts and culture heritage and amazingly six dancers with no former business experience and a couple of really passionate and ardent supporters started the company and ten years later we are in this amazing position that we're celebrating. We believe it's going to be the best ballet gala South Africa has ever seen. The program will feature highlights from the ballet theatre's glittering repertoire, new works as well as appearances by the young development program dancers. Peace our choreograph for Balasomania. It's different. You know, you come to SAVT and you see classical ballet, and here you're seeing classical dancers doing a little contemporary, neoclassical style, which you wouldn't expect in this company. So I think for our dancers to show that side, how versatile they are, I think it's pretty amazing. The standard and the level of appreciation within this country has grown enormously. In fact, so many people are being sought after to go and dance overseas that um, we've got to hang on to them as much as we can. Um, so the company is producing phenomenal talent and doing phenomenal works, and um, we're really excited about the future, especially of, of what South African Ballet Theatre can offer audiences. But it requires discipline, focus, um, and dedication. Ballet is considered the ultimate form of dance, achieving the almost impossible ideal of mind, body, and form. One thing a dancer cannot do without is powerful mind. I think people underestimate how powerful your mind can be. And you can go, and I've seen it, uh, from when they're going into a class and they're really not there mentally, the class is a complete waste of time, as in performances. If someone's mentally really prepared to go in and achieve great things, anything's possible. This is a very demanding calling. Dancers start their day with stretching and classes at 8 o'clock in the morning, followed by rehearsals till almost 6 in the evening. The language of ballet is universal, so that makes this job incredible. It takes a lot of hard work, and you have to be able to take criticism and just don't take it personally. The people that are doing it are just doing it to try and make you the best dancer you can be. It's a hard life, but it is an incredible career and I get to do something I love every day of my life. Each dancer brings something personal to that specific role. So we might have four ballerinas doing the same role, but each of them will interpret it in a different way. And I think that has a lot to do with personal experience and what you've experienced in your life. Essential tools of the trade are lightweight ballet slippers. These are custom made from soft leather and satin in London to the individual dancer's specs. Each dancer has their own way of working with their shoes. It's such a personal thing. I can go through a pair of shoes in a performance quite easily. If I just wear this pair of shoes today the whole day, they'll be finished. So you just have to be clever with how you work with them. To make her shoes last longer, Bernice sprays them with lacquer and bakes them in the oven at 120 degrees every evening. The theatre helps them keep the tradition of dance alive in South Africa. From the time the company was established, we recognised our whole purpose for being wasn't just about preserving what existed at the time, it was about creating a new heritage, a new legacy for the South African arts and culture landscape. And we started what we call the South African Ballet Theatre Development Schools. We now have six schools operating in townships around Gauteng, where we're training about 300 children from disadvantaged communities in ballet. They receive free ballet tuition free ballet kit, we put them through exams. So we're creating a new generation of dancers. Youngsters from the age of 5 to 16 take part in the afternoon classes and learn body, spatial and language skills, movement and more. Ballet teaches discipline, first of all. It teaches musicality, it teaches balance. I also know that a lot of occupational therapists refer the children to doing ballet for the coordination that they do. It teaches the children to have a different quality of life. Besides the physical benefits, ballet also fosters self-esteem and confidence and helps the young dancers feel confident expressing themselves creatively. I've been seeing a lot of these kids that we are working with. There are kids who are so much involved where they have some of them performed to the Nutcracker, the Sleeping Beauty. When they come back, they even said, I want to see myself being one of the greatest performers in the whole world. Thank you. 
Support Belato Mania that runs from the 9th to the 11th of September at the Joburg Theatre. Ticket prices range from 110 to 220 Rand and are available from the venue. See you at the ballet. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.